Hey, I'm Chris. Thanks for joining our Advent devotional. We're anticipating Christmas, and that's what Advent means. And you're here, and we're talking about hope this week. And in the story of God's people, for for generations, there had been all of these things that were that, that were happening. Their rebellion, their their enemies around them, where life wasn't going the way they wanted. They're they're in the time where Christmas first happens, and our story is happening, they, they're under Roman occupation. Like the, the world, their religion, just their own individual lives. They're not going the way they want, but they're anticipating God's Messiah. They're, they're anticipating, they have hope that God's going to do something. He's been making them promises for hundreds of years, longer than, than our country's even existed. And it's so hard for us to imagine life like this, where, where God would make a promise, and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years later, we're still holding on to it. But that's where we find ourselves in this story, where an angel is appearing to Mary, and, and he's starting to tell her what's about to happen. Listen to what he says, Luke chapter 1, verse 31. He says, you will conceive and give birth to a son. You're to call him Jesus. He'll be great, and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father, David, and he will reign over Jacob's descendants forever. His kingdom will never end. Friends, in these three verses, the angel is telling Mary that God's about to fulfill seven different promises that he made generations and generations ago to his people. What is it you're needing to change in your life? Where do you need hope? I think back to when my wife and I were very newly married in those first couple years, probably about the first five of our five years of our marriage were really hard. They were, they were painful, they were a struggle. And, and we hoped for a different kind of relationship. And, and we worked hard at that and we, and we prayed and, and we were diligent, we made changes. And now we've been married 25 years. And, and what, what God did was fulfill our hope. And what we were anticipating, what we wished for, he brought about. And, and that's what Christmas is, is just a great reminder, is that there's something in your life. And if you go through our devotional today, I hope you will, that the action at the end, it says, list, list some circumstances, list three circumstances, attitudes. You hope God will turn around and redeem in the coming year. When you anticipate Christmas, you remind yourself that God brings hope. And that marriages that are broken and, and painful can be joyful and fulfilling. That relationships with your kids, with your parents, with maybe a, a, an anxiety. What are your circumstances? What are the attitudes you, you are stuck in? You want God to change this coming year. Let's put our hope in Him as we anticipate Christmas together.